It's a moral day of action by the Poor People's Campaign. The organization is rallying around the passage of the second part of President Biden's economic agenda, the $1.75 trillion Build Back Better plan. BNC White House correspondent Ariana Manise joins us now live from Washington, D.C. with more. Good afternoon, Ariana. Good afternoon. Definitely a day of action here in the nation's capital with the Poor People's Campaign. They just led a demonstration where activists standing behind me, they risk arrest to build up support around the president's Build Back Better Act, as well as pushing for the passage of voting rights. This has been an action-packed day for this organization. They called on activists and coalition groups from over 30 states to gather here at the steps of Congress. They're putting the focus and targeting hold out Senator Manchin and Senator Kirsten Cinema activists. They say that the organization is willing to fight and they will not stop until Congress is ready to pass the Build Back Better Act. Now, what we're showing you, Capitol Police, they're standing by the demonstration just wrapped up as they block the intersection of Pennsylvania Avenue and Third Street, just steps away from the Capitol. They say this is the greatest opportunity that the nation has right now, changing the lives of low wage, low income workers. Now, before this demonstration took place, BNC spoke Spoke to a woman who traveled here from Illinois who says now is the time for Congress to deliver for people who put them in power. Take a listen. Well, everything's at stake. I mean, if you look at what's in the bill, um, like the child tax credits expire, the um, earned income tax credits expire. We're in the middle of a global pandemic, even though half our country doesn't think we are. Um, and and people have lost their jobs and a lot of like they keep talking about how no one can hire anyone but what about the women that are stuck at home with the children that now there's waiting lists for daycare because all the daycares closed when we first shut down Now, the point of these ongoing demonstrations is to really bring the faces and the voices of those that stand to be impacted by the stalled negotiations that's taking place in Congress behind the Build Back Better Act, as well as voting rights. They're saying that all Americans, black and brown, young and old, are impacted as Congress continues to wait for the passage of the Build Back Better Act. Now, we do know that President Joe Biden, he is set to meet with Democratic Senator Joe Manchin as early as today. He's hoping to act as a co Coach to help Senator Schumer, who wants to see this package pass by Christmas. We'll give you further updates when we hear back from the White House as far as what the president spoke to Senator Joe Manchin about and if Democrats can deliver this package by the end of the year. Back to you. All right, thank you so much. Our White House correspondent Ariana Manise reporting for us live from a rally in Washington, D.C.